it's so warm at the moment in Germany with my glasses. I see less than without my glasses and without the glasses when I have to see something I'm kind of blind as a mole at the moment. I don't know. But at the first meeting Johnson and Biden advertise a new version of the special relationship between Great Britain and the USA. Only one topic spoils the mood. Boris Johnson had imagined the first day of Joe Biden's visit to be somewhat different. The focus was to be on the new Atlantic Charter, which he and his guests solemnly signed, just as their role models Winston Churchill and Franklin Delano Roosevelt did 80 years ago. They stand side by side for the promise of a better future, said the Prime Minister in Cornwall. The new British aircraft carrier Prince of Wales cruised off the coast and was filled with American aircraft due to the lack of British aircraft. A better symbol of the special relationship between the two countries could hardly be imagined like the imagined special relationship. In the Charter, the two partners reaffirm their commitment to free trade, human rights and an international order based on rules. <laughs> Sorry. But the Atlantic Charter was only a marginal note on Thursday and the headlines were once again dominated by Brexit. Johnson recently confided in a journalist for the US magazine The Atlantic that Brexit was sucked out like a lemon. But he's repeatedly caught up with the topic even at the G7 summit in Cornwall. Biden himself had ensured that the Northern Ireland dispute with the EU set the agenda. On the plane, his security advisor had briefed the journalists on board that they were deeply concerned about the situation in Northern Ireland. For months, Europeans and British have not been able to agree on how strictly the new customs border in the Irish Sea should be controlled. Johnson would like to let everything go on as if the country were still a member of the EU, but Brussels insists on compliance with the signed exit agreement. The dispute increases tensions in the former civil war province and the Irish-born US president fears the, fear the peace process. In a joint statement following their meeting, Biden and Johnson diplomatically stated that the EU and the UK both have a responsibility to work together and find pragmatic solutions to allow unhindered trade between Northern Ireland, the UK and the Republic of Ireland. Johnson said Biden did not press him on the Northern Ireland issue. In the past few weeks, however, the US president's team had left no doubt that Johnson was the main culprit. This is how Irish Prime Minister the Taoiseach Micheál Martin understood it. I think the US president says to the UK, let's do the sensible thing. Let's find a sensible, sustainable deal that respects Brexit, the Exit Treaty and the Northern Ireland Protocol. The Johnson Protocol. The Northern Ireland question is also not ticked off with a Biden conversation for Johnson. EU Commission President von der Leyen and EU Council President Charles Michel, as I said this morning, also want to address the topic at their summit with the host. Whether the international pressure will impress Johnson is more than questionable. When it comes to Brexit, he will be guided primarily by domestic political considerations. Johnson has also made no progress on long-awaited free trade agreements with the United States. In their statements, both heads of government only confirmed their intention to strive for an agreement. But Biden is not particularly urgent on that one. Those who had hoped that the pandemic-related travel ban between the two countries would be lifted were also disappointed. Business representatives on both sides of the Atlantic have long been pushing for the important New York-London business link to be reopened. But the two heads of government only announced that they would work on it for the time being. At least the atmosphere seemed to be right. Both found warm words for each other in front of the cameras. Johnson praised the breath of fresh air that Biden brings with it. Wasn't he a Trump fan? The US president said they had a very productive meeting. He also made the men saying that they both married a woman who played in a different league. It was a nod to Johnson's new wife, Carrie, walking barefoot on the beach with baby Wilfred in her arms and Jill Biden. Johnson could be satisfied with the pictures of the day and the photos, as longtime G7 observers agree, are the most important thing at these peaks anyway. Although I would love, as we would say, to be a little mouse present at that meeting because behind closed doors, he probably has said something to Johnson, even if they're playing that out in public. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.